Well, I'm Jackie. Oh, this is our FM 106 country radio station. Yes. yes. And, um, and we're hearing it. I love you this big. Every day, turn it on and we're hearing it on the station. But I want to know from you, what, what was it like the first time you heard it on the radio? The first time I heard it, I was actually back in my hometown. The day of the finale, I had to go back and uh, take an AP English test for high school. So uh, I was driving, it was probably midnight because we got it late. I got in the car and about 10 seconds later came on the radio. We were, we were going crazy. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. Amazing. Oh, I love it. How exciting. Everything's been so exciting for you. Um, let's see. So if we have one question, only one question, what, what's the one thing you want to make sure that your fans know about you? Oh, no, that's, a, that's a serious question. <laughs> um, know about me that I I really appreciate them and that I'm gonna work my tail off and, and try to stick around here for more than a year. I'm gonna try to stick around for as long as I can and continue to make good music. Well the rate you're going I don't see much problem with that. Thanks. Um so being on tour this is a lot. Yeah. What's been the biggest adjustment for you being on tour? Um, the sleep schedule. I used to I used to be a sleeper, so uh, now the sleep schedule is kind of interrupted here and there. But uh, you know, it's a lot of fun. We just gotta get used to it, and uh, we're about midway through, so we're getting there. But uh, you know, other than that, it's, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, that's good. So, do you have your pillowcase with you? I do. Okay. It's on the bus, my Egyptian cotton pillow. Yeah. I had to ask, you know, I wanted to make sure it really made it. Oh, yeah. So, you know, all this excitement and all these fans and no sleep going on, how do you keep yourself grounded? Oh, uh, you know, I got my mom right on the road, so she'll slap me around if I need it. But, uh, you know, it's just how I was raised, you know. I, I don't forget where I came from, and, you know, I, I don't forget the fact that I was bagging groceries a couple months ago. So, uh, you know, if you just remember where you came from and remember your roots, and I don't see uh, being around a, a tough thing to do. Oh, I like that. I like that. So you got to tell me a little bit, Tim McGraw. You got oh, a chance to sing with Tim McGraw. Yeah. Just give me a. It was, it was insane. He was, he was like a really down to earth, nice. He was like my country dad, I like to say. He was just a, a really cool guy to be with. You know, when I walked in, I was scared to death. You know, you grew up listening to him as a legend. But when I walked in, it was just like we've been friends for years, and he was just a nice guy to work with. It was just a lot of fun. One word. One word describe that experience. That's nice. So you make it very easy to sit down and talk with you too, so just so you know. Um, how about anyone else? Is there anyone else on your hit list that you'd love to be able to sing with something? Well, uh, I got to sing with Tim, and I got to sing with Josh Turner. So, um, you know, hopefully, maybe maybe a country legend like Loretta Lynn or uh, Valley Parton or, or, or somebody kind of... Like, nice to wear. Yeah, exactly. Thank something, you. Something that would be good. I like that. Will you work on that? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, um, I mean, is it getting a little easier getting out on stage? Oh, you know, you still get the nerves. Before stage is when it hits me. When I get out on stage, it's like I'm just having fun. I'm supposed to be there. But before, when I walk up there, it's like, oh, here we go. It's, it's a different crowd every night, so you got to go out there and, and make it fresh and, and uh, have the same energy and, and better every night. So, uh, but it keeps it, it keeps us young. You know, I'm just 17. It keeps me young. Yeah, that's right. I'm 17, too. Yeah. <laughs> so that five minutes before. Oh, yeah. Five minutes it. you're working that's on it. it. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? A lot of times I'm, like, getting my Rocky on and I'm punching the curtains, you know, getting pumped up. But, uh... That's actually the, the night of the finale. My security guard that was walk, walking me up the stage, he had Rocky playing on his phone, and we were walking up the stairs, punching like we were going to Philadelphia with our own club. It was, uh, and it gets you it, was, it gets me fucked up, you know? Oh, that's good to know. So, all your tours, you know, your tours so far, you've got a lot of shows, you've got a lot more coming up, you're not sleeping. Has there been one that stands out, one show that stands out in life? Oh, yeah, Raleigh. That was my hometown show. And this one's going to be nice, too, because this is where it all started for me, in Milwaukee, here at the Bradley Center. But uh, Raleigh was definitely, it was nice to get back and see friends and family. I mean, I'd be singing on stage, and I'd spot somebody that I hadn't seen in five months, and I'd give them a little wave. And that's one of my questions, too. Can you really see us out there? Oh, the I can audience? see you. I can see you. If you're waving, I'll try to give you a wave back. So uh, I'm reading all the signs as I'm singing. So it's nice. It's nice. Oh, that's excellent. So when it's over and you're on your way back home, what's the first thing that you, I mean, you're missing your friends, you're missing your family, but like, what's that one thing from back home that you are missing that you cannot get on the road? 
Um, well, I've said it before, and I'm going to say it again. It's, it's Bojangles fried chicken. You know, it, it's, a, it's a nice restaurant we have back home in North Carolina. And it's like a southern thing, so you know, it's, it's hard to find anywhere else. But uh, it's just something about that place. We used to have that four days a week. Yeah, back in school, we'd go off campus, and four days a week was, a, was Bojangles, and the other day was like a hot dog stand uh, in downtown Raleigh. But uh, I definitely miss it. You were Jones's first other day, oh, oh, and I yeah. suppose you've tried some stuff along the way, and nothing comes. You no, know, it's, it's good. It's good, but you know, it's just like there's, there's no place like home. There's no food like like home. There you go. So um, let me just ask: now that you are a role model, what advice do you have for other artists? For other artists, you know, for me, I kind of, I, I got a really nice platform to go off of with American Idol, you know, uh, I, I understand the fact that a lot of people would die to have 38 million people watch, watch you on TV, so uh, I'm grateful for that, but, you know, for other artists, I just say keep on working, and, and you never know who's out there watching you, it could be the top of the label for, for Universal or Sony watching one night, so uh, just go out there and, and work, and, and you never know what could happen. And, uh, for me, I'm, I'm just grateful that I uh, got to have that platform and that I'm here doing what I am today. Well, we're grateful to have you here too because you're amazing. I am loving it. Um, do you think you've formed some lifelong friendships so far? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, we've talked about it. Jacob's, Jacob's really adamant about staying in touch and, and not forgetting each other. You know, we've, we've spent uh, some, really, some really cool times and some tough times and uh, some memories that we'll never forget with each other on this idle journey. So. I don't think it's going to be a problem to, to keep in touch through the years. Well, I guess I just need to ask, what does it feel like to be famous? Uh, it's, uh, it's pretty insane, you know? I mean, I don't know if I'll ever have the, the real answer to that question, but it's definitely a, a whole lot different than life back home. I mean, it's tough to go out to dinner now and, and uh, without taking a picture or an autograph. Well, you know, it, it's nice. You know, those are the people that got me to where I'm at, so I'm happy to, I'm happy to give you an autograph if you ask me. It's, uh, it's definitely insane. You never know the feeling until you actually hear it. Be careful what you wish for. Uh, well, that's good to know. Oh, yeah. I, you know what? I am careful what I wish for, but that's good to know. And as soon as we're done, I'm going to pull out my tickets so you can autograph them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, gosh. Scotty, it was so nice. Nice to meet you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, definitely. Thank you.